Hello Scorpio and cross watchers. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you your daily love reading for the day commencing May 4th, Monday, May 4th, 2020. May the 4th be with you. Maybe some of you are Star Wars fans. Love the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Some of you 80s, 80s lovers out there like myself. <laughs> so... All right. I hope everybody had a really great weekend. I did spend a good part of my time outdoors over the weekend. Um, I just allowed my dog to, you know, pretty much lay outside, lay in the garden area and um, backyard area. And just really, I took in a lot of um, fresh air. Took in a lot of fresh air to help me sleep better. And um, since I'm on my 10th day of going vegetarian, so, and I'm working out every day, I'm my frequency, I feel it, it's different. And I know that right now I'm just working on my upper body area right now, and I can do more reps than what I could 10 days ago. So a lot of it, you know, when you're trying to raise frequency, you're conditioning, you're conditioning your mind to take charge and control of the energy of your body. Raising frequencies. And I am never at a loss in the kitchen. I always know what to cook. You know, I just have that talent. I have that gift. Um, and I'm making some fantastic vegetarian entrees. And it's like I'm feeling my energy levels. It's completely different. My metabolism, not like I really had ever had a problem with my metabolism. It's just kicking more so into high gear. So Other than that, that's pretty much what I, I just worked on myself. I sat outside, took in a little bit of sun. I'm not a sunbather. I'm not a sun worshiper. Spirit tells me when to go inside. <laughs> because I have been severely burned before back in the 90s. I had like major sun poisoning. And honestly, I don't look like I'm 41. I look at least five to ten years younger than what my actual chronological age is. And I've been using anti-aging products since I was 14. So, anyway, <clears throat> got to take care of your skin. You got to take care of your body. Raise your frequencies. Get your mind shifted. Read a good book. Over the weekend, too, while I was outside, I found this fantastic herbal remedy book months ago, um, towards like the fall of last year, I went to half price books and I found in their clearance section, like this encyclopedia for $2 on all of the major herbs. And I have contemplated becoming an herbalist as well, because I believe in the healing power of herbs. A lot of good, great herbs out there to naturally heal the body. And in my coffee now, I'm not putting normal milk. I'm doing coconut milk, almond milk, chocolate almond milk, soy milk, which I've never had a problem drinking before in the past because I have been a vegetarian before years ago. Years ago. Um, but I've been adding, like this morning, I put in coconut milk. I did honey and turmeric because turmeric is anti-inflammatory. I haven't completely cut out cheese or eggs or anything, but I'm monitoring my intake right now on it because those types of items create mucus. Mucus in the system, which can affect your bronchial system, which can make you more susceptible to respiratory colds and flus, etc. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing to take control. And I've been 
pretty damn happy. Pretty damn happy. I'm like, I'm feeling just different after 10 days. It's been fantastic. So in a nutshell, do something different, Scorpio. Do something different for your body. Do something different that you normally wouldn't do or research the things that you've always wanted to learn about. Because right now, you know, while you're in quarantine, you might as well be doing something different. Plenty of online courses, online classes that you can learn how to water paint, sew, bake, fashion design. They've got these classes and courses online for like 15, 20 bucks. You know, invest in your future while you have the time before, for those of you who do have a normal job, have to go back. So, not sure where the energy is flowing. I do feel that there is, there is movement. There is movement as now that we've been in. Quarantine, it's been seven and a half, to almost eight weeks, nine weeks for a good portion of us <clears throat> in the United States. <clears throat> and there is movement kicking in because the states, some of the states throughout the country are reopening. They may not be able to reopen at full capacity, but hey, you guys, this is what we've been manifesting not to say that there's not, at times, not going to be trials and tribulations, but little by little, we're going to get back on track. Where there's a will, there is a way. So, we just have to stay, fo you know, focused, positive, focus on the end result. Focus on the end result of everything, like, it's like a sense of freedom. You know, imagine people not walking around with masks. Imagine people walking around without any type of, you know, gloves on. Imagine people being able to hug each other again. That's the end result. That's the end game. So instead of focusing in on the problem, the solution is people being together. power of your mind so let's get this Monday jump started upon the power of Archangel Michael and the energy of Goddess Diana to balance out the energies, the number 10. Some of you are dealing with a Libra or Scorpio throughout the month of October. Uh, what does this want to be today? Hmm. It was at a side angle. It could go and be a number six or it could be a number nine. Well, I would say to that, I'm going to roll it again. Um, some of you are dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian energy or Hermit, um, Hermit card. While the Hermit card might be coming up today, meant to say Virgo. Virgo energy and also Libra energy. So let me roll again for the second roll. Okay, the number four. So we got Aries energy and Taurus throughout the month of April and the number 10 again. So you guys, there's some kind of, there's an ending, I say, to two different things going on with your person or with you, Scorpio. And in between the 10 and the 10, we have the 4. Now, what's interesting is that when I see this number 4 between the 10 and the 10, it's like 10 of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles, 10 of Cups to the Ace of Cups. And in between that is that number 4. So 4 could represent that 4 of Wands, the Twin Flame Soulmate 1111 Connection. Endings and new beginnings. 
an ultimate joy and happiness going on when I visualize and I see Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. The word foundation. And here we are. We are the fourth of the month. I just said, may the fourth be with you. And we have the number four here. Okay. So I am going to, how do I want to do this spirit guides? We have the 104. I'm kind of feeling this pull. Okay. I've got the trains about ready to kick in in the background. I'm going to take the 10 to the 104. So we're going to go to one. 114, so you're going to have to bear with me, um, but I'm getting confirmation through this train because I hear the ding, ding, ding. Okay. Do you hear that? Okay. So when you add up, it's just going to toot away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just get started here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Ha! This fell out of the deck, the sun card. Sign of Leo energy kicking in. Reconciliations. 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Some of you, if you're dealing with a, some of you could be dealing also too with a Capricorn or an Aquarius. And when you add up the 114, that breaks it down to the number six. So again, with the number six, I've got Cancerian energy and Gemini energy again. This will be a seven card spread. We'll be doing a seven card spread all of this week. Okay. So pulling from the top of the deck, Scorpio. See, I told you there's an end of a cycle. Here we have another number 10. Okay. This is a little different with the 10 of swords. I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Keep in mind that not all messages are going to resonate for every single Scorpio or every single cross watcher unto Scorpio. And all signs usually get represented across the board here, okay? So, they're feeling besides themselves. You're a person, Scorpio, or this could be you. Feeling besides yourself, feeling stuck, feeling lonely, feeling trapped. All you have to keep you company, it's like being in the Snow White mode, you know? You've got the birds and you got the squirrels to, you know... <laughs> Maybe some of you do have seven dwarves. I don't know. But the bottom line is this energy is not going to be forever, but something is stewing and brewing in the pot right now. Eventually, as long as this person keeps their eye on the prize, which whatever is, is boiling up, steaming up in this pot, it's not going to burn. It's not going to burn anymore. Some of you could be feeling the burn from past situations, past events that have transpired. But there is an ending to this feeling of loneliness because little by little, if you're living in the United States, hey, there is movement. 
So every day we get one step closer. So this feeling of, you know, being alone, cooking for yourself, um, watching a lot of Netflix. That's why I said, do something different. Do something different to change the energy. You have to do it for yourself because that will shift. It, it's going to shift your mood. Some of you have been working out at your house, you know, maybe taking five pound weights, 10 pound weights and, and, you know, working out for some of you. That's great. If you are, you got to shift the vibration, get out of the, the heavy sludge, sludge energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The world card. Here you are, you guys. We're talking about what is going on here. There are endings. that We're going to have an ending to all of this. And it could be that your person is putting an end to whatever the snakes in the grass are. Despite your doubt, worry, and fear, somebody's trying to escape. As far as I can see, because look at that bird. That bird is trying to soar as far away from that sneaky little snake in the ground that was trying to keep this person trapped. It could be if your person, Scorpio, if your person's dealing with a third party situation, there's an ending. There is either been an ending that has happened or there is one gearing up right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And they're thinking, they're already planning. I say they're planning to travel. They're gearing up, making arrangements. Because I still feel this energy of the three of wands. The three of wands represents that forward movement. There are plans that have already, there are plans that have already been set. We're waiting for the cycles to end so that this freedom can come forward. Wow. King of wands. Some of you could be dealing with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. With the world card, usually I get the fixed signs. Scorpio. Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius energy coming in off of the world. King of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with an older person. It doesn't have to be. Some of you could be dealing, if you're dealing straight up with a masculine energy, a physical male, they could have salt and pepper hair. They might have a beard or a goatee. <clears throat> <clears throat> this could be somebody that is gearing up because they want to grow old with you, Scorpio. But there's passion. Somebody, and look at, I'm looking on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's going to get freaking left out in the cold. That's why I said they're trying to soar high for whatever the snakes in the grass are. Whoever's in the king of wands mode, they're taking a chance, they're taking a risk and a gamble and putting an end to heaviness. Because this king, this king of wands isn't even looking in the direction of the world, not even looking in the direction of the ten of swords. Some of you may have a fireplace in your house. Or an apartment, possibly, or a condo. Picking up condo energy. Townhouse. A lot of them would like to make love to you by the fireplace. <laughs> mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You are, Scorpio, their emperor or their empress. They want to have a new beginning here. And some of you Scorpios may be pregnant or 
the king of wands can bring in a lot of sexual energy. So if you're a female, fair warning is forearmed. I'm telling you, once they break free, there could be pregnancy on the way. But they want to get back to whatever this cornucopia of energy, of positivity with you, Scorpio, male or female, doesn't matter. And for some of them, they may be putting a stop. If there's, We'll find out what the Empress really is. I, she always usually comes in as very good energy, especially in the upright, okay? But if somebody's trying to get away from the snake in the grass, they could be trying to get away from a mother figure. Just saying. So I feel like this Empress energy is twofold a little bit. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, a Taurus, or a Libra. Waiting for my water signs to kick in. I have a little touch of Scorpio going on with the world card there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Huh. Major offer, major commitment. Those that are waiting for reconciliation, marriage proposals, long-term commitments. This is about having it all, you guys. And what did I say? The Ten of Pentacles to the to the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups to the Ace of Cups. So this energy is already kicking in through the energy of the numbers, okay? Could be 10 minutes. I'm picking up with the number 10. Could be 10 minutes, 10 hours, 10 days, 10 weeks, or 10 months, or the month of October for some of you on the long grand scheme of things. They are coming back. They are coming back. It is going to be unexpected because I'm like seeing the tower card kicking into my mind's eye right now. We shall see. Somebody's willing to take a chance and a risk. There is a lot of chemistry here. There's a lot of passion here. Somebody is trying to look towards the future and not look back to the heaviness, the murkiness, the deception, the backstabbing, the betrayal. They're trying to look ahead for the future here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They're, they're going to leave somebody out in the cold. They're taking a chance. They're taking a risk to leave somebody out in the cold. They may be leaving somebody who has blonde hair out in the cold. Sandy Brown blonde hair. Possibly. Not for all of you. Because not all of them are dealing with blondes. Could be a mother figure that has blonde hair or red hair. If that's the case. In order for them to have this ace of pentacles, they have to leave everything behind and take only the essentials of what they really need, okay? And rebuild with you, Scorpio. That's, that's what I'm feeling. They're going to have to leave. They may need to leave a family inheritance because family lineage can come off of the world card. And we have a major pentacle that's underneath this. They could have, for some of them, have financial ties with their mother, with their father. There, I, and I am picking up there's discrepancies for some of them. If there was any kind of um, passing of loved ones and money issues and things like that. I am picking up there were arguments. 
there's some kind of, and I'm also picking two, picking up too with this snake in the grass. There has been, for some of your partners, there has been manipulation within the family. Yes, family manipulation over money. It could be that this, you know, in some regard, it could be for some of them that if they're dealing with a toxic mother figure, because I've got the Ten of Swords, you guys. I've got the Ten of Swords over the Empress. Yes, they're looking towards the future. Yes, they look at you as the Empress. But the other flip side of the coin, this Ten of Swords is dominating over the Empress. There is a mother figure that has kept their daughter or their son trapped through lies, betrayals, deceit for some of them. I don't know which one of my spirit guides is coming out, but my tone of voice is just pushing the freaking energy right now. Because mm, <clears throat> I am seeing the word demise, demise. For those that are in that situation that have partners or person that they love the most, they were controlled and manipulated by money. They didn't want to upset the apple cart. Poor choice, poor chess move. Somebody's getting left out in the freaking cold. Because the ending with the world is connected energetically to this Five of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns right now. There's passion here, there's love here. Because the Empress energy embodies nurturing qualities is a is like a very loving nurturing person and this person who's got this fire and this passion about you also know that you were kind you were generous you're giving you're magical you're talented you know you know how to work your way you know around the kitchen or around your house you're very domesticated for some of you and all the bells and whistles whoever's in the empress mode Somebody's getting left out in the cold. Bottom line. Endings, an ending here, an ending here. One, two, three. There's an ending for somebody who's going to get left out in the cold. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> uh. I don't think necessarily that my spirit guides are necessarily putting a monkey wrench. <laughs> I say that your person, Scorpio, they're trying to make a move, but yeah, they're in suspension right now. It could be that for some of them, put an end to a situation. See, because when you take out Okay, this is a lot of intense energy right here. King of Wands, the Empress, and the Ace of Pentacles. Now, I've never seen a combination like this before, but I can feel this surge of energy going in and around the partnership. Major offer. I mean, there could be, for some of you, a fire sign that's coming back because you are the emperor or the empress and they want to have it all with you again. And it could be, you know, they're planning, but okay, they're waiting for the veil to get lifted because, yeah, there's still, a lot of them are still in suspension. Waiting for the veil to unlift. You could be dealing with the Pisces for some of you. 
but somebody is gaining new wisdom and insight and there is success that is on its way look at that infinity symbol in the ground you guys it could be that this king of wands energy is trying to figure out what to say what is the effective approach in order to bring this a lot of different energy today but somebody's leaving somebody out in the cold bottom line so that tells me that somebody is willing to fight for true love because they're gonna get they're gonna get the wisdom they're gonna get the aha moment Because the hangman position doesn't go, it's not a forever thing. Where hermit energy can last for a long time, long time. So, let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty one. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, whoops, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Calling on the energy of the numbers. Archangel Michael got to stay. And now, why is this ten of swords here? What came to an end, or what is coming to an end? The heartbreak. Third party situations. Third party situations. Because Scorpio, guess what? You've already been through this. You've already been through it. You've already been through your tower moment. Okay. This is happening for the other person. Which is going to make this person feel all alone, all by themselves, whatever the case may be. However, the situation is transpiring. Three of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy going on right now. So, I also say that because this person in this card, they're in deep, they're in some kind of deep seated reflection over the third party situations. And how things transpired. Either your person got left out in the cold, Scorpio, or vice versa. Or they're getting ready to leave somebody out in the cold. Or they already have left somebody out in the cold. Because they have an ending of a cycle with the world card. What does the world card want to say? Yeah, there was burden. Freaking burden. And again, for some of you, your partner was dealing with family members that were putting a lot of BS on them. Made it like a freaking mountain and mohill. That's why they're trying to get to this Ace of Pentacles. Because Scorpio or Crosswatcher, they take the rules how they resonate. That's how they had it all with you. Bottom line, they had it all. They thought, and some of them thought by moving away, because some of them did move away, that they thought the grass is greener on the other side. Well, you know what? There's nothing but snakes in the grass or one major snake in the freaking grass. But again, here's a 10, endings. 10 is playing a major vibrational energy to, in today's reading. Endings of old cycles and patterns. There were some plans, I'm hearing that for some of them, 
They had certain plans that did not come into fruition. And on the other flip side of the coin is that they are feeling the, the burn. They're, they're feeling the burn of not being able to travel because the world card can indicate travel. For some of them, um, and maybe even for you too, Scorpio, those who are in long distance relationships, that it has become burdensome to only, yes, have communication at times either <clears throat> through direct message or through Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all of the social media platforms because World Card, World Wide Web, okay, yeah, it's been all burden because this person wants to be back with the Empress and this Ace of Pentacles energy. They can smell it. They can taste it. They can feel it. This King of Wands is gearing up to take some major chances and major risks. Male or female, doesn't matter. What is the King of Wands bringing in? Ooh, not only are they bringing in sex, sexy, passionate heat and emotion, they're also bringing in logic and practicality too. And this King of Wands is getting ready to cut out the BS, whatever the BS is, because guess what? Ten of Clubs, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, but behind this King, I have a major ending. And again, this King is not looking in the direction of the Ten of Clubs, of the world, of the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Some of you are in same-sex relationships as well. Male or female. I'm sorry, male and male, female and female, okay? So... There's been some kind of burden over social media because they can't get to you. Mm, I don't know all of the provisions that are necessarily... I know that there are some states that are not allowing um, other cars from other states, I believe, to go into another state. I don't really know what is going on on the road right now. I really haven't researched it. I've been keeping more focused in on like the airlines and, and you know, because when I think of travel, my first thought when I think of travel is the airlines. Okay. When, when people are needing to go see their person or their family members, it's not to say, I mean, I have driven a lot around this country and, you know, road travel you know, some of them may take a leap of faith. They they could. They could possibly take a leap of faith and just get in their car or rent a car, possibly, if that's even possible right now, maybe, um, to hit the road. I don't feel like there's a lot of major uncertainty here, but somebody is trying to gain this wisdom and insight through the hanged man. But see, somebody's cutting out the BS. The BS of the burdens that some of their family members put on them to dismantle the relationship in the first place. For some of you, not for all of you. Again, a lot of it was due to third-party situations, toxic ex-wives, ex-husbands, the exes, exes, whatever, and soon-to-be ex wives, soon to be ex-husbands, whatever. So, because the king of swords can also represent a divorced person or somebody who is on the verge of a divorce or somebody who is widowed. Okay. So, and it could also represent some of you may be in the medical profession as well. Some of you could be nurses or doctors. I'm getting lawyers, lawyer energy kicking in here too. Message from the Empress. Ah, I'm telling you, when I said they want to take a chance to take a risk, here we have, when I see the Joker in the upright, the situation is very black and, right, black and white right now. They want to be with their Empress and take this chance and take this risk because when I see the Joker in the upright, that is the fool energy to me. So some of you are dealing with an Aries for some of you. But see, this Joker energy, it may take this person by surprise. The King of Wands energy may take this, whoever is in the Empress mode, 
take this person by surprise and return out of nowhere. Because again, there is travel, but there's a burden about travel. Yes. But there's also burdens about family members as well. Message from the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Guess what? I've got power couple, power couple energy. Ace of Pentacles being clarified. They know that they have to come forward to the Queen of Spears with the truth, the whole truth. And I think it's going to be shocking to the Queen of Spears that there is a major, a major offer that is right smack behind this energy. It could be a male or female. And again, this could be, and I, as I was saying, ex-wife, soon to be ex-wife, ex-husband, soon to be ex-husband. That energy could be circulating for somebody in that particular situation, okay? There could be legal battles going on right now, too. I'm picking up custody hearings, custody battles, too. Because the energy of the Empress is embodying a birth, so there would be possibly, you know, children, children on the way, or children that are already here, because we do have a mother energy, okay? There is mother energy going on. So some of you are in those particular kinds of scenarios. I think, because see, this joker, this joker is behind the Queen of Swords. It's going to be shocking when this comes in. Because the energy of the joker, you never know. You never know what the joker is going to do. Message from the Five of Pentacles. The King of Clubs. So here we are, the King of Wands. This King of Wands, whoever's in this mode, is going to leave somebody out in the freaking cold. They made a choice. Some of them made a choice and a decision. Say, I'm not going back to this bullcrap energy. Because here, it's like, I actually have... A king and a queen that are facing one another. So in some regard, it could be in a certain scenario. This isn't for everybody, trust me. This isn't for everybody. But this person might have had to fight tooth and nail to get as much money as possible because this queen of swords could have been taking everything. I'm hearing that for somebody. Somebody's going through that situation. Because this is, okay, you guys, major money. And again, with the queen of spears and the king of spears, again, this could be about a judge. It could be about a lawyer, divorced person, soon to be divorced person. There could be something about money. Now, on the other hand, in between an energy of a couple, somebody is getting left out in the freaking cold. So I'd say that this energy, the five, whoever's in the five of pentacles, that third party, because I've got third party situation here, okay, they're trying to keep their eye on the prize. This king is facing in the direction of the queen of swords. So they know, I got to come talk to you, hello, remember the fire, remember the passion, remember the energy, and 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 whoever's in the Queen of Swords, it's going to be, mm, some of you guys will be like, well, what do you got to say for yourself? Or, okay, you want to talk after X amount of time, and they're going to be like, yeah, I, I really need to say something to you, and you're going to be like, okay, but my sword is up, all right, that's... That for some of you, that energy will be going that way. Now, the main focal point of the Queen of Swords is to remain calm. Listen, because remember, the Queen of Spears, she will take up, he or she will take in the information, cut, slice, dice it up, blend it up, and then make an educational decision for himself or herself. But this King of clubs and king of wands one and the same energy somebody is bold enough here to leave everything behind 
I say this king of clubs does not give two SHITs anymore. I say that this king of clubs energy is going to try to win over queen of spears activity. I don't know why Spirit's pushing me to say this because I don't usually get this kind of drama in my readings. I'm, they're pushing me against the grain with this, but there was a false pregnancy. Somebody was dealing with somebody and somebody was the Joker because like I said, the Joker and the upright can go either way. So I'm hearing this, that somebody falsified a pregnancy could be the reason why somebody is getting ready to leave somebody out in the cold because there was deception. There were lies about something of that nature. Like I said, I normally do not get that kind of energy. The energies I get are more to do with um, if it's the ex-wives, if it's ex-husbands, if it's, um, you know, certain third party situations and, um, family. That's, that's how the spirits roll with me because a lot of you have been suffering in silence due to family members that destroyed your, that destroyed your relationship, destroyed your marriage. Okay. And a lot of you are not, um, <clears throat> Finding those readers that are specifying the family energy, okay? So, like I said, somebody could have falsified about a pregnancy. And, and this king is getting ready to cut somebody out. Or already has, because there's been some lies. What is the energy of the hanged man, Archangel Michael? What's going on here? Wow. Double Joker in the upright? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Okay. I've got sirens going on in the background, you guys. Listen. Listen. There are no coincidences. There, there's, um, that was, that was Archangel Michael. Every time I hear an ambulance or a cop car, because Archangel Michael's a patron saint of firefighters and cops and EMTs, etc. Um, this suspension, I say, is not. They're going to get out of this and have a brand new beginning. That's what I'm picking up from the second Joker. Why are there two? I'm going to clarify. Why are two Jokers here? Hang on a second. I'm going to tap into this energy first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Why are these two Jokers here, Archangel Michael? Oh! Because of meddling energy, Queen of Wands, however, I do have another on the other flip side of the coin, I have another power couple energy here, but there is some form of a mature quality going on right now, and what did I say about mother figures? Somebody was trying to fool in some of your situations, this, you guys, this isn't for everybody, but in somebody's scenario, there was a mother figure that was lying about many things. There has been a false facade 
going on. This energy, because like I said, most of the times the Queen of Wands will come in as a meddling energy. And there is somebody who is mature, somebody who might like the color yellow. The other flip side of the coin is that the Queen of Wands energy can also manifest with great willpower. The Queen of Wands is fiery and just as passionate, just as passionate as the King of Wands, okay? But there were false facades going on that kept somebody, for somebody in this situation, kept their son or daughter in a very trapped position. Because they didn't want to see you, Scorpio, or vice versa with this. The ultimate energy of a twin flame soulmate connection. Emperor energy, em empress energy, okay? The empress dominates over the queen of wands. Queen of wands doesn't dominate over the empress. No queen does. And it could be that whatever this Queen of Wands activity is, I do say, yeah, for some of you, it is your person's mother figure. For some of you, not for all of you. Could be a grandmother, could be an aunt. It could be toxic girlfriend, toxic boyfriend, whatever. A lot of weird and quirky energy today. But somebody's cutting something out. There were, there are, I should say, there are new beginnings here that, yes, are trying to happen. The most powerful energy right now in this seven card spread is this Ace of Pentacles. And I say that this person is ready, bottom line, the overall message is somebody is cutting something out due to meddling energy, third-party situations, lies, betrayals, deceit, somebody is in some kind of sludge energy, whatever the burdens were possibly put on by family members or it has a lot to do with the pandemic situation, but we've got forward movement. But in order to get more movement, this whoever's in this king of clubs is getting ready to leave something or someone or a situation out in the freaking cold. Because this king is looking in the direction of the queen of spears. Queen of spears, king of spears commands and demands the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And honesty and loyalty. Message from the King of Spears one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And one, whoops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine
10, 11, 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay. Clarify the energy, Archangel Michael. What is this King of Swords bringing in? Okay. Queen of Pentacles energy. So they're looking at you, Scorpio, or vice versa right now that you're pretty much getting your SHIT pulled together. And that you're, for some of you, you guys are in your glory. You're doing okay. Your finances are getting back on track. A lot of you are working on your finances right now. And a lot of you are at some form or some level of peace and contentment. Like I said, some of you could be sitting outside, admiring the birds, trying to take in some fresh air. Maybe you're sitting on a bench. Maybe you're just sitting on your patio or your balcony, whatever. You're just, you're chilling. For some of you Scorpios or cross watchers, you're chilling. Okay? Self-care, self-nurturing energy. And they see this about you. Now. Message from the King of Clubs and this Five of Pentacles energy. It could be that they are getting ready. See, there's another mature type of woman energy. They could be leaving, like I said, some of them could be leaving a mother figure out in the freaking cold. And some of them, some of your partners were dealing with a blonde haired person. Not all of you, but there is planning. They could be constructively planning because the two of wands is about planning. How are they going to leave also too? How are they going to leave this person in the five of pentacles? King of clubs sometimes, mm, well, if they take chances and take risks, which the king of wands does, king of clubs does, They're just going to be like, some of them are just going to raise their hands up in the air and say, I'm done. And not, I'm telling you, some of them are not even going to explain themselves to this third party situation. They are just going to be done with it. Message from the Queen of Spears. Because you are the shining star, Scorpio, or vice versa, this king of clubs views you, Scorpio, as the shining freaking star. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. Like I said, a lot of you are in self-nurturing, self-care. You're shining. You're brilliant. Okay? You're working on your... A lot of you are working on your independence. And this person's looking at you like you're the... You're the golden goose. You're the freaking golden goose. There is going to be a healing and a cleansing of this relationship. Joker number one, what is this all about? Fate and destiny. Again, we have another number 10 here. So certain things are going to try to come to an end of a cycle. But somebody has got razor hawk-like focus. And some of them will be returning in the month of October on the long grand scheme of things. For some of them. But they're trying to keep they're trying to keep their eye on the prize because this hawk is facing in the direction of the Ace of Pentacles, of the Queen of Swords, and the Star's energy. Message from Joker number two. What did I say about the Ten of Cups? They have been contemplating, they have been thinking this over. And like I said, with the jokers in the upright, this is like fool energy wanting to take a leap of faith and get this relationship back on track because they did have it all with you, Scorpio, and vice versa. Ten of cups. They know this. They're not stupid. They just, you know, again, made stupid choices. Poor chess moves. Okay. So ten of cups over the rainbow moment. I think this person has had enough time to decide Message from the Queen of Wands. Okay, there could be some rapid fire communication coming in about a fire sign or from a fire sign, possibly. All right. Um, travel. Traveling energy. Let's see what this Eight of Wands is bringing in. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. A new beginning, passionate new beginning. So in some regard, on the other flip side of the coin, we have power couple, power couple energies here, okay? Queen and King of Wands, some of you could have fire in your chart, even if you're a Scorpio, that's fine, but a passionate new beginning. Now, this energy of the Ace of Wands, I always see resonating in and around mid-Taurus season, so mid-May, and I see this energy run until about the second week of September, okay? So there's going to be passionate new beginning. But they know that they got to leave this third party situation or whatever has held them back. And again, the traveling, the traveling is the issue. Yes, but this is all going to get alleviated. So many different scenarios, situations, all of you are dealing with so many um, intricate layers within your storylines. And at the end of the day, though, you are Scorpio. Fate and destiny. You are their fate and destiny. You are their shining star. You are their superstar in their life. I don't need to clarify this. Whatever is meant to be will be. And somebody did get their freaking karma. They did. Because this is here. And this is here. There were snakes in the grass. Yeah. Fate and destiny is at play right now, you guys. You are the shining star, Scorpio. Rock it out. Own your power. Own your power. Okay? All right. Until tomorrow, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal and private reading uh, with me, all of my specials are listed in the description box below. All readings or donations to my channel go through PayPal only. Okay. So Scorpio cross watchers. Thank you so much. We'll see where that energy is flipping around today. was a little quirky, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, they're going to be leaving something out in the cold that that is the overall message and you are the rock star. Take care.